Here's the situation. Your red flag info comments disappear under frozen panes when scrolling. What you need is a way to make the comments always visible. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have data. I haven't entered anything for this example, but it's monthly data and it's moving to the right. And that's because as months complete, another one gets added and it starts to grow. So if I want to see my freshest information, and I want my team to see the freshest information, they're going to need to scroll over to look at it. Problem happens when I add an information flag to the frozen column. Information flags are very useful. They give you added information on whatever you need to know. Problem is now, if I scroll over to see the freshest information, and I try to get this information flag to pop up, it won't because it's hidden along with these hidden columns. So I need a way for information to always pop up regardless of scrolling. Now the best solution to this would be to rearrange the spreadsheet, have the newest information over here, the oldest information on the other side, that would reduce the need to have to scroll anyway. However, sometimes you can't build a spreadsheet with everything in mind. So I'm just going to pretend like I can't rearrange this, which means I'm going to have to come up with a workaround. And that happens sometimes. So to get the comments to always show, I'm going to use data validation. I'll do it on this cell. I'll come up to the data tab, go to data validation, make sure I'm on the input message tab, and type in my message. And for this example, I'm just going to type in anything. And there it is. It's always going to show now. I can scroll all the way over to the right, and it's always there. Problem is now there's no indicator letting people know that there's something in that cell. It looks just like any other cell. What I could do is I could put a blank information flag in here, but I don't like doing that. That's just personal preference because I don't want two messages in the same cell, and I certainly don't want one of them to be blank. So I'm going to come up with my own indicator. This is also personal preference. I'm going to use a lowercase p, highlight just the p, change it to red, and change the font to wingdings3. Because I know a lowercase p in wingdings3 is a triangle. Then I'm going to come down here and type in a footnote. p equals clickable for more info. And I'm going to do the same thing on this P. Highlight just it, make it red, change it to Wingdings 3. Now there's a footnote so people know what this means and they can click on it to get the message that pops up and it'll always be there when you scroll. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.